Saw cut and remove existing deck to the limit. Um, okay. All right. So that means I'm gonna demo all this. Can I demo that on the this? So I need the fence. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So the bridge will remain, and where is that at? That's like, focus, come on now. All right, so there's the water fountain. Hmm. There's the pump pit. That's for the, uh, that's for the river flow. Right. So we have a defender. Yeah, got a defender. Definitely have the call out there. Alright. Uh, that circle right there is the uh, anti vortex plate. That's an anti vortex plate, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm understanding. Very good, very good. Man, I love drawing schematics. So much fun to look at. So, if we look here, these are all the main drains coming back to the surge pit. So, this is right here. This is actually the surge pit. These are all the suction or vacuum lines to the catch baskets and the pumps going out to all the uh, beachers. So you'll see it says right there, uh, man, the focus is bad on this. It's an eight inch slide return. And uh, this is basically going to be a big uh, manifold of pipes. And that'll go to <clears throat> some small slides right there. Yes. Okay. And you'll see this one right here. This is a pretty big pipe. It's a 10 inch pipe right there. 10 to 6. Yeah, because off the pump is going to be 6 inch. And then we need to go to 10 inch. So, right there, that's CV. This stands for check valve. All right. The intake is a 12 inch line off the strainer basket. And this one's a 10 inch line. Okay. Right. And then if you look, this one's going to the filter, right? So that goes to the filter. But if you look, what happens here is it all shoots. Now we can go back. There's a valve right here. There's a valve right there and a valve right, uh, right there. Wait, where's it at? No, oh, right there. <gasps> I missed that eight inch. I need to get my markers out. See, I'm glad you're we're doing this cheat team. We're going and we're double checking that we have everything correct. So we have the 8 inch ball valve right there. I need to account for it on my schedule. So I know that I need to buy another 8 inch ball valve. And of course, since it's a, uh, excuse me, that's not a ball valve, it's a butterfly valve. If it's a ball valve, it just says BV. So if we go down here, man, the focus is so rough. But if you look right here, it says 2 inch BV. That's ball valve. Okay. 
And then, uh, so what happens is this comes out of the filter and we're sending water either one way. This way, which goes to all these little valves and these all these go to a feature. Or we can dump back into the pit. This is the surge pit, right? Okay, and that looks like this. So the whole surge pit, the, so this is the schematic, right? Of the pump house. And this is the actual pump house layout. So a little bit cleaner, right? At least to see. So, and then this is the big um, manifold that goes to all the individual slides. And then one thing I, I wrote in my notes here, let me see we're here. So where's, what's the location of the splash pad manifold, right? Cause that's, my engineer didn't call it out here, but I do have this box here right here, which would indicate the location of where it should be. So this is most likely the manifold. I don't know how to spell apparently for splash pad. Okay. All right, and then this guy right here, this is a this is the chlorinator, and then that's the acid, little acid. All righty. So now if we look at this schedule, thumbs, you might have to help me. So if we go here. We've got two main drains going off of this 10 inch line. And then the way this works is this is manifolded together. And then this 10 inch line goes back to the surge pit. And that's what that is. Right. Okay. And then you'll see that they have these boxes here. There's nothing called out, but this is on the bottom of the slide, right? And then we're gonna just build a concrete box under the slide. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that'll catch all the water that's coming out the bottom of the slides. And then these are the returns back to the surge pit. Now, one thing I'm gonna ask my engineer is, I don't know why, but why in the world do I need valves for these? So I'm gonna ask. That's one of the things I, I don't know. So we'll, we'll find that out. All right, let's see. Here's the other one, it's kind of a cool diagram. This is the craziness that's gonna happen underground. So I showed you earlier, he's got it right here, but I think that manifold, look, he's actually got a note right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's not focusing. Focus. I can't focus it. All right, it says manifold on there. So out that manifold goes to all of these little features right here, right? And then the big ones, see what's cool is, the, I like the way the drawings are done, the thicker the line, the thicker the, or the bigger the pipe. So that's a 10 inch line right there. And it goes way over here, right? So, yeah. What do you think, Thumbs? Think we can do it? Uh, yeah, definitely can do it. It's gonna be a little challenging, but. It's gonna be a lot of work. And I think we can make it happen. Let's see what else do we got here. Now we'll go back to the plumbing plans. So there's the manifold. I think that's where the manifold's gonna go, which is gonna be kind of tight. This is gonna be a tight pump house. But what's gonna happen is, so the manifold starts right here. These are all the little pipes and they're gonna go down into the concrete. So once they go in the concrete, then we'll go out to the offshoot of the rest of the splash pad. But uh, yeah, so if you look here, he's already called out everything we need. The Neptune Benson is the biggest thing, so. I've got quotes out for that, so hopefully we get something soon. And then I'm, um, so all my colors here are, indicate a size of valve. So I've got a valve schedule that I'm creating by hand, and now I can go, I'll go talk to my suppliers and find out what kind of pricing I can get on the valves. Cause not only do I gotta get the valves, I gotta get the flanges cause they're butterfly valves, right? So I gotta get double oh, flange, God. right? So slip joint butterfly valves, or slip joint uh, flanges, right? Plus the pipe. So, and the plan here is, boys and girls, is anything that's in the pump house, so this is all pump house basically. Everything here is gonna be schedule 80. Everything underground, which will be, if we go back two sheets, let's go back two sheets. So all of this, all this piping, that'll be schedule 40, right? And including this stuff too, this is all gonna be schedule 40 stuff. So once that's uh, 
once I get the count there, the quantities, then I can figure out the rest of it. But everything in this pump house will be Schedule 80. If you've seen the videos before, you'll notice that we only do Schedule 80. So that's what, uh, that's what we're going to do, right? So, all right, what else do we got here that looks kind of interesting that we could talk about? Eh. There's the steps. So this will be steps down to my to the room, and then there'll be a couple of doors, swing doors right there for the pump house. What's crazy is the roof's actually gonna be very short. It's only gonna be like four feet off the ground. We'll walk by the side here in a second, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, where this is gonna go. There's my roof plan. Okay, let me see. We're gonna have big retaining walls. And then right here will be, on this top right here, will be where the uh, slide path starts. So, different heights, different sections. Oh. Well, what do we got here? What do you think, Thumbs? It's going to be quite interesting. Oh, that's going to be interesting. That's for damn sure. Oh, well, the uh, install is going to be even more interesting. What do I got here? Oh, more. Hmm. Well, now. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll go to the site and check it out. It is a windy day today, team. Whew. Here's a flagpole. Quite windy today. We've already gotten warnings. Well, not warnings, but we get these alerts from our weather system that say that our uh, winds are over 25 miles an hour. We have a cool front or a cold front blowing in tonight. Can't wait for that because uh, it's already getting warm again. Be nice if it would stay cool. a ADA ramp going down this way and then uh, we're going to blow out this fence and we're going to do steps down. There's the water fountain. A little bit of landscape is going to go away but uh, essentially what needs to happen is all this right here needs to go because I need to get and that, go, that has to go too. All that has to go. Everything here has to go basically. I need to get this elevation dirt right here a foot lower than what it is here at the splash pad. Right now we're looking at 147, I need it down to 145, so it's a couple feet. And of course, that's gonna be gradual starting from here. So all this is gonna be blown out. We're gonna go in this direction. That's what it looks like at least so far. I apologize if it's windy. It's quite windy out here today. And then, Based on the plans, boys and girls, pump house will be right here. Yep. So it'll be kind of fun, kind of interesting. As far as where the pump house goes, the steps. We have to re relocate this uh, swim ring. The steps for my pump house will go starting from here and walk down that way. So one, two, three, four. So the doors will be like right here. Pump house will be in that direction. The surge pit starts about, it's not too big. The surge pit's not huge. The surge pit will be about right here, or starting about right here. And we'll stop about right here, roughly. Okay. There's my electrical box. We're going to have to tackle that. But we're going to blow out all this stuff right here. We're going to reuse the cabanas. 
um, we've repaired a bunch of them. Thumbs has been really good about repairing them. So shout out to Thumbs. Thanks so much for doing all that work. But he's done a lot of repairing on some of those steel structures. If you remember from the last video, or one of the last videos I did way back when, because, uh, you know, I haven't done any video. We had the storm, uh, tropical storm, and it blew up, or it uh, damaged, heavily damaged a lot of my, the tops here, a lot of the tops here. So, yeah. Now, one of the issues I'm going to have, team, that uh, we're working through right now is we've got to import a lot of dirt because right here, we've got to go up almost seven feet. So, i got to import a lot of dirt. I don't know if you've not seen the retaining wall on the plan, but I've got to build a lot of dirt up, right? So, i got to import a lot of dirt, almost 700 yards. So, the only thing I'm thinking, we did this for construction of the park at the very beginning is we built a land bridge going across the river in this general area so i think i'm gonna have to do the same thing so hopefully i'm gonna do that in the next week or so we're using what we call crane mats and that'll get us going there but yeah this is the site of the new project now i've given you a little sneak peek I can't speak too much on it yet. I'll give you a little bit. That's it. Just a sneak peek. Still got to make it official. Still got to come back from permit, which you saw on the short. I did get the, the drawings in the permit office. And now I'm on bid. I'm bidding out everything right now. So, hopefully soon, this area will be transformed into something new for our kiddos. We shall see. Team, I know it's been a long time. I apologize. We have been really busy with this project. A lot of, a lot of paperwork, a lot of meetings, a lot of meeting with vendors. Been going to all the shows, meeting with vendors, trying to figure out exactly how we want to do this, make it right. And uh, trying to figure out the best plan here. Because there's, although it's just these cabanas, there's still a lot of stuff under here. I've got irrigation over there, a lot of lines of irrigation. I've got storm drains everywhere. I mean, speakers lines. I got a bunch of stuff here. Plus, I got all these cabanas. So, utilizing the space while reducing the amount of demo demolition that we have to do, that's been a, a challenge. And, of course, I want to keep these cabanas right now. We are possibly going to replace the ones that are uh, around the belly monster area, the pit structure. But everything else I definitely want to keep. Oh, look at that. I got a stub up sticking out. Cool. Very cool. Appreciate you, team. Appreciate you sticking around. Promise you got more to come because of this because of this we are doing a lot of work around the park now and now that the plans are into the city uh for and and going to permit or going to uh plan review i've got a little bit of time to kind of do do some more video hopefully i can get you some more out but uh in the meantime just know we got some cool stuff coming and it has to do with this area right here thanks so much team take care